Hello, you're listening to Pull the Plug podcast with myself, Freddie. Um, Tevin. Falaren. Dave. And, oh. and we have two returning guests, David, Falaren's friend, <laughs> and Olu. Hey, don't call me Falaren. Hey, shut up, man. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> We'll welcome you back on. You actually <laughs> asked to come back on. Someone say big. I just beg. Calm down. <laughs> calm down. No, but you man wanted me on for a minute, so I thought, you know what, 2020. Who's you man? What? For lying. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, you're He's right, denying mate. me like Judas did Jesus. Wow. Anyway, wow. anyway <laughs> pick up your Did Judas deny Jesus? Yeah. No, it was Peter. Yeah, that's what we get. Was it? No, you really don't go to church. church. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. He it... definitely goes back. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely goes back. Yeah. Right. Okay, big up yourselves anyway. Since we last saw you, what's happened? Well, man, past probation in my job, finally. Um, right. Yeah, so um, that's what I've been doing, just working since. How long ago has that been since I saw you, man, last? It's been a minute to be fair. It's been a minute. Because that's the old CEO, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> so yeah, man, that's all I've been doing. And then we've got Olu here in his hooligan jumper. Hooligan? For, if for anyone that doesn't recognize him, he's not wearing his traditional native attire, but oh, yeah. <laughs> wife beater. Yeah, that's true. He's actually coming fully clothed today. Yeah, yeah, that's true still. I can't remember last time I was on. I remember. It's when my cousin was here still. Oh, was it the toxic, the yeah. toxic male one? Mm. Oh, yeah, that. so mm. obviously. So keeping up my reputation, <laughs> hard on thoughts movement, etc. Hmm. Hmm. All of that. Hmm. Um, yeah, nothing much has changed. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, anyway, you listen to episode 37. And this whole episode, I wanted to talk about sexual... Or I wanted to raise awareness behind sexual health. So it's all about <coughs> sexual health awareness. Because um, I kind of think that it's under-discussed. No one really talks about sexual health. No, it's, like, it's kind of like a taboo topic, mm. especially considering the fact that sex is glamorized everywhere. Constantly, mm. it's spoken about on television, films, music videos, or music. Yet, no social one actually media. talks about social media, everything. Yet, no one actually talks I'm, about. I've been trying to see less ass in my life, and I can't. <laughs> How on my Instagram? <laughs> on my Instagram, I go on my explored page. I've tried <laughs> everything. I've cleared my research search history. <laughs> I've unfollowed World Star. I'll go back to my explore page and it's just us. <coughs> Same thing with my Snapchat discovery. I've tried everything. Snapchat Why did you see Snapchat discovery? Sure, no, nice. no, he, Fam, no, when there's you go us the everywhere, nigga. You can't get wow. rid of it. All right. All right. I'm not social, complaining. Social so. media knows that you lie. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I've been trying. Don't deny it. Like I've been too, trying man. to live differently, fam. You cannot escape us. But don't you find it a bit weird, the fact that that's glamorized. Sex is glamorized, yet no one actually talks about the precautions and all the c- c- uh, consequences related to sex. Well, yeah, that's, that's with anything though. It's kind of like, for example, the NFL, people know there's like concussions and head injuries, but no one wants to talk about that. You sort of focus on yeah. the good points, you know? Mm. Mm. But, but I get what you mean though. Like people should, there should be more like awareness shown on the peak stuff that can happen. But with the example of NFL, these NFL players are now suing the NFL because of the CTE that they're experiencing or the dementia that they're experiencing. So do you think these people, these artists, these film, Hollywood production teams should be sued if anyone contracts an STD or STI? Mm, no. No, it is, yeah. At the end of the day, when you listen to it's like it's like footballers. You know, it's like when parents are like, to, to a footballer, oh, you're doing this outside football. My son looks up to you. And you're behaving in this way. And but at the end of the day, it's your responsibility to look yeah. out for yourself. It's you you've got to take individual ownership. Yeah. You know, it, everyone knows the risk when you like, you know what could happen if you sleep with a girl on un- unprotected sex. <sighs> Baby or STI. Hmm. But that's the thing, not everyone knows that. And that's the reason why they're like people fail to disclose that they have an STI or stuff. I can't lie, sometimes you don't even know you've got it. True. It's too late. True, true. Hmm. I've had situations with girls before me. Well, have messaged me months later and said, I got I got it. So you want to get yourself checked out? Yeah. It's scary, bro. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> Wait, what? No, no, no. I mean, like, I remember one 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 girl, um, literally, I think it was like six, seven months later. She then got she the just, message. She just hit me up saying, Oh, by the way. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Um the whole what? alphabet. <laughs> she got it. I just had C. This guy said this guy said E F G. No, no, no. I understand if it was a C. No, no, no. She, she got the, she got the A B C in it. 
And Jesus then, Lord. and then she was just like, "Oh, she's trying to have a go at me, this and that. Like it was you or Girls this other mad. guy." I was like, "Bro, what time? When was this?" And then she, she I, I remember the day, literally <clears throat> nothing. You know what I mean? So mm. it was whoever it was before in it, but it's still scary, you know, because like. <sighs> Let me not go into too much before I get into trouble. But yeah, man, it's, it's, it's not a nice feeling. Especially when you're at work, man. That's the last thing you want to get, get, get a text saying, yo, yeah. yo, this, this yeah. has happened to me. And that NHS no reply from. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro. It's worse when they call you as well, because that's happened to me <laughs> No, twice. if they call you, you fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> you fucked up. Mm. <laughs> nah, Jake. <laughs> that's you're not joking. You're not joking. You're not joking. Nah, Cause, cause, you're saying nah, it happened to you twice. Me, me, buddy, answer it. Because, like, I get regularly STD checked up. STD And I get, like, the... Um, it in a post box. So you. I have to send it off. Oh, the DIY. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You don't do the wolf of shame to the... Nah, I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> But the thing is, like, I hate like needles and doing blood tests, so I never wait. do the blood test part. Of it. So wait, 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 wait. What? You could have HIV right now. Yeah, but I'm fine. Like, you're hmm. not gonna catch it off me. It's not hmm. like some virus virus. No, no, uh, no, it no, is no. a virus. But, but what? I could it? have it. Yeah, and that's not concerning for you. I'm still here. I'm still alright. If I'm not here, but if famous 50, last words, then, then, <laughs> then it's alright. That's the thing. But that's the, the only time see, I get the, the call way back. everyone reacted with regard to the HIV and to um, all these ideas of STIs. The, there are stigmas associated with STIs, STDs, which are important or may be considered as important barriers towards people getting checked up. Mm. Yeah. And there are two types. You have self-shame. So obviously you, you yourself are ashamed of going in and uh, getting checked. And then you have perceived stigma, which is refers to societal's view. Um, <clears throat> discrimin- discrimination? Discrimination. Discrimination. Like, um, wow. <laughs> Discrimination. Yes, that man. It does. It really does. Discrimination arising from being associated with the STIs, etc. So, I want to ask, what's the wildest story you've heard about a people contracting an STI? About a people. <laughs> All together now. <laughs> Bag out. Okay. So it's, it's it's been a while since I've been. <laughs> and also, I need to make sure it's factually correct because this is going out on air. So yeah. So what's the wider story you've heard of people uh, contracting an STI? Um, or symptoms? Hmm. I can't lie. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> actually, You're so oh, good. Actually, we're, we're not friends anymore. All right, cool. So, um, <laughs> I get your point about the uh, about the uh, people having that stigma. <laughs> Why? Why, David? God. There was one. There was one girl I was chatting to. Yeah. Not even chatting. Like I just, I met her at one function. I ain't spoke to her in a minute. Then I saw her. Shola's fiftieth, um, yeah. Huh? Shola's fiftieth. Shola's fiftieth. Wow. It is you wow. that. Shola's <laughs> fiftieth. Nah. So um, we just having a chat. I ain't seen her in a minute. And then obviously, you know, this conversation can get a bit too deep. Especially, so then she was telling me how her past relationship, um, she was in like a situation ship or something like that, mm. and then the Donny caught something from someone else. Um, yeah, that's the face I did, Fred, as well. <laughs> 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 but but it's mad, like she didn't know, yeah, and she had a lot of trust in him, mm. and yeah, thank God she found out sooner than later in it. But um, I can't lie. Around then, I it did put me. Off of her. Yeah. I know. I was talking to a guy that had herpes. Mm. Really? Yeah, fam. That's like a primal response, though. Like, deep down, your brain's going to know that you're not going to procreate with something that's, it's, in a sense, diseased, isn't it? Yeah, mm. but you know what it is? Yeah, we've... we've... <laughs> it's facts. All right, but you know... You know we've, we've... Okay, we need to be mature. You know we've... Um... <laughs> we're out of it. <laughs> but you know this um, chlamydia thing, yeah? Obviously, is. It's curable. Why are you starting so much? I'm thinking. That's what I'm Man's got chlamydia, like, haven't you? <laughs> it's, it's like, David, it's like, do you have, or have you ever had an STD? Hmm. Yes, yes. Coming through. <laughs> first, first of all, <laughs> we're taking it there already. Fred, hey, take the sweet thing. Fred's coming with smoke. <laughs> but no, no, no. 
Cops used. Mm, I mean, I've, I've, see, I've, people cap when it comes to this team. Honestly, no, yeah, let, 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 let me tell you a story. Cap. Let me tell you a story. Um, no, no, I haven't. But there's been moments where you thought you were about you to. Thought, no, you thought that. How? Huh? How? What do you mean? Like, um. No, because one time one girl was like, oh, she's she felt she's felt this way. Um, like she she's feeling like burns or something like that. And in the insides is A B C D, whatever what, it is. Down there or yeah. Okay. So I was scared. I was like, rah, I might have done something. Like, I was worried. And then and then I went for um checkup and all that. And it, it was scary, you know, because you see a bunch of Negroes in the lobby waiting for the results with you, bruv. And it's not a nice feeling, bruv. They're all waiting like, like Arsenal's bench. Like, you know what I mean? They just, nice. they just sit there with their head down. <laughs> waiting for the call up. Waiting for the call up. <laughs> <laughs> literally you know that meme of like a zet just on the bench yeah, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's what that's what was it all worth it that's what I'm thinking bruh bruh people were reading magazines about uh, yeah. health and that yeah some guys had their heads Fa- on their magazines hands. are, are oh, faster oh bruh like I was shaking inside and then <clears throat> and then the woman came the nurse David. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. It's, it's I my need to take turn. A <laughs> <laughs> they, they give me that little, like, good luck, oh, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, like, yeah, like safe, yeah. Yeah, safe, safe. Yeah. None of approval. Good luck. Yeah. When the woman gave a screw face, mm-hmm. walking all the way to the room, I was like, what? what's this woman? It's, it's yeah, the nice. awesome smoke. And then she, she put the papers down. All negative. I said, what? Like, what do you mean, what? Were well, you shocked? <laughs> <laughs> me? I must have passed. She's like, she's like all, all negative. What? I literally put my knees on the ground. I put my hands in the air. Wow. <laughs> she must have thought I was one slag or something. You know wow. what I mean? Like, I was like, thank you, Jesus, bro. Wow. Look how scary that is, bro. Nah. I don't even understand. You can hear anything at that moment <gasps> in time when you deep it. Fam, you know when you read WebMD? Have you got on that website? Web, Web yeah, MD. yeah, yeah, yeah. WebMD? What's that? You haven't been on it? No, heard it's of like it. a self-diagnosed search, search website. Headache on WebMD. Oh, okay, right. then they'll, they'll say you have the worst. That's the thing. You have right, Corona right. or something. <laughs> oh my days! Now I was scared. I was scared, but I was calm. Ever since then, regular, regular, regular. Check. Serious, literally. What regular. do you all go walking center? Yeah, uh, I've, I've done. I've done a DIY kit. And I've done. Yeah. Both. I don't know. I'm laughing. Sorry, I've done both. We okay. actually have a DIY kit. We might. Uh, we'll show you that later. Actually, yes, yes, um, we do. I had to post it to Ollie's address because obviously I didn't. Well, you know what your first <laughs> <laughs> My mum's a nurse. Well, well, so I'm sure she's already well, familiar. What about you, Fred? Bro, do you, you, do, you do walking? Do I do walking? What's the walking? Walking center. You go to the walking oh, center. Oh, no, do... there's no need for me to go to the clinic at all. What? Listen, <laughs> I, I swear to you, I'll stop yeah. this whole podcast right now. Yeah. You know, I told you before, yeah. <laughs> Nobody's allowed actually, to fucking actually, lie on I actually, I went to. I actually went to the walking. It's true. And I'll, I'll explain Good, to you. Good, tell the I'll explain to you why later on. I will explain to you why later on. Olu, you were saying something along the lines of people are Why capping. You I'm telling you. <laughs> because Why I'm leading the talk. Let him run it. Because it's actually going to come up. It's Please actually going to come up. Make sure he explains. Olu, you were saying something about people capping uh, when it comes to getting SDIs. Yeah, it's just like, let's just let's just be honest, fam, because the statistics are there for a reason. And mm. particularly true, 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 in our true, age true, range, true, true. it's highly likely <laughs> that at least 80% of us in this room, I've had an STD before, so hmm. let's not lie. Hmm. Even, even when it comes, even when it comes to things like, okay, with girls, yeah, like girls can have flush in it at, at a young age, right? It's not even an STD, but some girls, even if you ask them, "Have you had flushed?" or say no, it's just like, why are you lying? Why are you lying? I hate it as well, man. especially when they lie to your face as well. It's the most <laughs> humiliating. Do you know it intertwines with this whole body count um, argument mm. as well. It's like, why are you lying? Yeah, what do you think of body count? You know. What do you think of body counts? <laughs> like, you know when you- Why is my deflect to the song? Just say the truth. <laughs> do you, so, what's your body count? I don't know, but it's more- What? It's, it's, it's what? more than a certain- It's double digits. Double digits? Wow. Yes. It's, wow. More than, it's more than double digits. 20? It's more than 20. Oh, it's not- We're not nah, shaming here. Yeah, so. we're not shaming, we're not shaming. For me, yeah. <laughs> just say the truth, fam. 
Mm. Let the devil be ashamed. Yeah. Don't lie. Do you remember all the people you've been with? That's a big I, question. I, have to, I would have to sit down and think about it. <laughs> <laughs> do you know, it was even funny because the other day, the other day, I Man was on my drops. explore page. I was on my explore Number 34 page. pick. <laughs> second round. <laughs> no, the funniest thing is that the other day I was on my explore page, yeah. And I saw a picture of a girl that you liked. Oh. And then... I noticed. Who, who, I know, who's uh, you Tevin. For the, Tevin, Tevin. Tevin. And then I noticed. Wait, wait. And then I noticed. And I noticed. Oh yeah, I actually beat this girl. <laughs> and I was like, Yay. swear. Fendi, Fendi will know. Fendi will know. This is from Portsmouth. Hmm. I was like, oh, oh what's her God. name? Huh? What's her name? Beach side. Do you want to say it? Yeah. We'll, we'll... On this live air. Yeah, yeah. We'll no, no. Okay. No, 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 I right. beat Tevin. <laughs> I said her name begins with T. In the homies. But yeah, like we have to. Okay, I was gonna say we need to stop like putting shame on this thing, but mm. I'm the number one corporate. Mm. If I hear that somebody's acted <laughs> acted acted wild, I'll be the first person to go and shame them. So let me know if it'll be a hypocrite. Right but you know, now. it is. Yeah. The, well, yeah. sorry, sorry yeah. to cut you in for it. You know what it is, yeah? We're at that age now where we're no longer teenagers, we're adults. So it's not like everyone's going to be Virgin Mary for like... Mm. If, if, I, if a girl said that... Actually, but I would be thinking, rah, there's a, there has to be a bit of a lie. Well, you don't know. Some people stay holy then now till... Till marriage or something. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, but I wanted to quickly correct Olu there because he kept saying, referring to it to as STD as opposed to SCI. Do you guys actually know the difference between STI and STD? Sexual transmission, infection. And then and disease. Okay. So infection means that the individual has an infection, but has not yet turned into a disease. So you can have chlamydia. You could have gonorrhea. <laughs> and all sorts. I'm back yeah. What's on you? <laughs> On this live air, I will show you. <laughs> I will show you. You can so. have those, and yet not. it may not turn into a disease. An STD is um, a disease that's now developed from an STI. So you can get, like, bowel inflammatory disease or something like that as a result of chlamydia that hasn't been unchecked. So what do you guys think is the most diagnosed STI in England? Oh, chlamydia. 100%. Herpes. No, you herpes diagnosed or herpes goes. Oh, on. sorry, disease herpes, or infection. Herpes goes on. Oh, no, no. Infection, sir. Oh, infection. Like, yeah, yeah herpes, chlamydia. Hundred percent. Herpes is also infection. What's your it, source, It's in, by the, in the, the name for this information. Public Classic. Health England. Yeah, chlamydia. Hundred percent. I don't know. Guess. I think it might be. I think it might be gone over there. Okay. <laughs> chlamydia. Chlamydia. Is- <laughs> 